Hello and welcome to the English as a Second Language Department here at Atlantic Cape Community College. We're here to answer some of the questions that students have about our program. But first, let me introduce our instructors. My name is Gwen McIntyre. I'm Judith Otterburn Martinez. I'm Michael Kammer. And I'm Susan D. Philippus. So let's let's think about some of these uh, questions that students have. Uh, Judith, who are our students at Atlantic Cape? Our students come from all over the world. Um, we have students that are American citizens that are getting their residency or have their residency. They have um, perhaps their international students. Um, and then we have students that range in ages from um, recent high school graduates to 70 year olds. And we also have students that are professionals um, in their countries and perhaps want to um, improve their English so they can continue with their profession here. Wow, quite a variety. Yes. Mike, what courses does Atlantic Cape offer? Well, we have a total of five levels of credit ESL classes. Um, the first two levels have equal emphasis on listening, speaking, reading, and writing while the higher th three levels uh, offer more focus on academic reading, writing, uh, to prepare you to fully enter into the, a college program of your choice when you're finished with ESL. We also have supplemental courses for additional strengthening in pronunciation or grammar. Uh, we can find which level uh, that you would start with from the results of your Oxford ESL placement test, which you will schedule to take after applying to the college. Great, good to know. Lots of choices there. So what can I expect from a typical ESL class at Atlantic Cape? Well, I think that the, the main thing that uh, you're gonna see in every class is energy. Uh, the class size is made so that uh, folks have enough other uh, class partners so that they can interact and practice their language skills. And yet it's small enough where that can be done at uh, over and over again at a much higher rate. Uh, we definitely emphasize group interaction and active learning like uh, games and, and things where you need to discuss possible solutions and things with, with partners. Along the way, we also go to the computer lab. Uh, we, we do projects there to develop those computer skills. And uh, we explore what it means to go after and find jobs in this country and culture and what's available in the local area. Wow, great. So it sounds like you can learn English while also having a little bit of fun. Yeah, yeah. Judith, when, when do these classes meet? Where and when do these classes meet? Well, our classes are mainly offered on our Atlantic City campus. Um, and we offer classes throughout the year, starting in the fall from September until December, and then the spring semester, which is January until May, and then in the summer. Um, our classes are offered Monday through Thursday, the majority of the time, um, and that is um, on the mornings, 9 to 12, and then again in the evening at 6, and we do offer some classes um, at, in the noon hour. Great. Wow, a lot of flexibility there. It's all sounding pretty good. Mike, can you tell me, how am I going to pay for this? What's the cost of a typical ESL credit class? Well, some of the classes, the supplemental classes are three credits, but most are six credits. And so you pay per credit. Um, and there's also costs for materials, but we have financial aid and scholarships, uh, quite a few of them, as a matter of fact. And you can click the link, the financial aid to find more information about that and to see if you qualify. And many of our students do qualify. We also have a free college program uh, for free tuition. Great, wow, that's, that's exciting. Uh, so why should I study at Atlanta Cape? Well, you know, it's really all about uh, 
feeling good about your level of English fluency, feeling confident, feeling uh, that you have become more and more fluent in English. So lots of opportunities. Uh, you make new friends from around the world. Uh, you interact with the instructors during class, outside of class. There are a lot of social clubs and even sports teams that you can participate in outside of the classroom. And the Career Center, that's always available for you with lots of resources to help with that job search or how to do an interview, those types of things. And overall, the, the real point is to really enrich and to make, make your life richer personally, professionally, um, and academically, as well as financially. You know, in every way, we want to see that uh, this really makes your life better. Great. Thanks, Sue. Let's not just listen to what we have to say. Let's listen to a real student testimonial. This is a previous student of ours, Udelka Columna. Hello, hi, my name is Yudelka Columna. I am from the Dominican Republic. My native language is Spanish and I was able to study English as a second language at Atlantic Cape Community College. I cannot be more grateful for the opportunity since I received a lot of support and motivation when I was studying here. And I just want to say thank you. I was able, after finish my classes here, I was able to finish a master's in social work at the Richard Stockton College. I was able to um, own a private practice uh, named Healing Road Counseling Services. I was able to found a nonprofit organization named Latino Healing Partners. And also I was able to write a book named Emotional Resilience. I wouldn't be able to do any of that without learning English. So thank you very much. I appreciate your help. And thank you so much, Atlantic K Community College. Wow, what a success story. Help. That all sounds so great. How do I get started? Well, the first step is to apply to the college and we have a link there in this page. Um, you can come in person. Uh, the link will show you uh, the hours and the days and which locations that you can walk in uh, to do that, or you can do it online and people are available to help you. The second step would be to schedule, then take your ESL placement test to see what level that you would start with. Uh, third step would be to complete a free financial application to see what you would qualify for. And then finally, step four, that link will show you um, how to register. Now you can schedule a virtual advising appointment or you can email one of us to help you, um, but the help is there for you to help you register for classes. Wow, thanks guys. Thanks for all of your information. Um, come and join us.